years, especially wolves, for a number of years now. Um, in fact, what I'm wearing around my neck, which I wear all the time, is a, a Roman coin. I think it's probably, I forget at this moment, I think it's about 1900 years old, mm -hmm. maybe more than that. And the primary reason for it is that it depicts a wolf, one of the wolves that supposedly Romulus and Remus, the founding of Rome. Oh, sure. The wolf is a real, I guess you'd call it a totem for me, a, a spirit figure for me. The men that I create in all of my books, single title or presents, um, we call in the business an alpha male. Alpha male, absolutely. And of course, the alpha male, for me especially, is very much similar to the alpha wolf in a pack. He's the dominant leader. He's gorgeous. He's he's beautiful. He's powerful, and he's faithful to his mate. Mm -hmm. And so for me, the alpha male hero is an alpha wolf in disguise. Now, I heard a rumor, and I'd like to find out if it's true. How old were you when you met your husband? I was 15 and a half. The half is important. <laughs> uh, and he was 18. Of course, he did not know I was 15. Oh. Um, I, was, I was already a senior in high school uh -huh. at 15. And he just assumed that I was 18. And I still remember the moment when I had to tell him that my mother was going to make me a sweet 16 party. Oh, and no. it was a difficult time. <laughs> <laughs> but we met very, very early. My husband was at my high school graduation, my college graduation. You know, well, that also means he has been with you on every step through your writing career. Through yes, your, he has. Through all these stages. And is, has he been your critic and your, your critique partner? And In fact, that's exactly what he's been. Um, I don't remember when we started doing it, but somewhere, somewhere along about maybe book number five or six, I was having a problem with a scene, mm -hmm. and I asked him to read it because my husband was a police officer in New York City, and this involved firearms. Mm -hmm. And he read it and offered me some help and then offered a couple of comments that had nothing to do with firearms, mm -hmm. but had to do with the scene. And over the years, that's evolved into a comfortable relationship. He is my first reader. Yes, He that's is excellent. my my critic. Uh huh. Um, I don't always go with what he says. You should really have done something else, you know. But he he's a very he has. It's really interesting to me because. My husband's a voracious reader, but he's not a romance reader. I'm the only romance author he's ever read, but he's got a great eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then he, he does the rest of my, keeps my business accounts. So oh. we work very closely together. That's excellent. I, and that was something else that I really, I, I read here that kind of made me have a little awe moment is it says, um, Sandra lives with her very own sexy, gorgeous, larger-than-life hero mm -hmm. in a sun-filled house on a quiet country lane in the northeastern United States. I'm like, oh, and uh, that gave me a little awe moment also. Um, and in case any of our watchers are wondering, I myself am single and available. Okay. I was just going to ask you. <laughs> no, you. I've never been married. Oh, really? I've never been married. and A romance author? I know. Not. And people say, you know, I, I, and plus I've written some erotic romances. And the, the my second least favorite question after where do you get your ideas? Oh, I can imagine, Tony. Is how do you research your love scenes? <laughs> and mm -hmm. I'm thinking... Um, very active imagination in fantasy is, okay. is how I research my love uh -huh. scenes. Most of it from memory, yeah. <laughs> long ago memory. Oh, we have to change that. But let's, I, you know, can I get you to read an excerpt from um, the book that I read sure. last night from the Shakespeare Rebellious Mistress? Because sure. I did enjoy that so very much. I and, enjoyed writing it very and much. And I'm, I'm looking at this little shake series, and I'm going, well, how's she going to pull that off? Three shakes, and it, but you absolutely did. Three shakes. Three. Th they, they are three longtime friends. Mm -hmm. um, I'll read you a couple of pages from the very first chapter. Okay, please. It was the sort of December afternoon that touched Fifth Avenue with magic. Dusk had not yet fallen, but the street lights had already blinked on, gilding the fat snowdrops that fell lazily from the sky. Windows glowed with honeyed warmth from the multi-million dollar condos that filled the high-rise buildings lining the fabled street. Across the way, Central Park glittered under its soft dusting of white. It was enough to make even jaded New Yorkers smile, but not the man who stood at a window 16 stories above the scene. Why would a man smile 
when he was consumed by cold rage. Sheikh Salim al-Taj, crown prince of the kingdom of Senadar, lion of the Alhandra desert and guardian of his nation, stood motionless, a Baccarat snifter of brandy clutched in his hand. A casual observer might have thought his pale blue eyes were fixed on the scene below. The truth was, he'd hardly noticed it. His vision was turned inward. He was reliving what had happened five long months ago until a sudden flash of movement brought him back to the present. It was a hawk. For a moment, the wild creature seemed poised in midair. Then it dropped gracefully onto the parapet of the terrace beyond the window, clinging to it with razor-sharp talons as it had done so often these past months. The hawk didn't belong in this city. It certainly didn't belong in these concrete canyons at this time of year, but the bird, like Salim, was a survivor. Salim felt some of his tension ease. He smiled, lifted his glass in silent salute, then drank deep of the amber liquid it held. He was not a sentimentalist. Sentimentality was a weakness. He was, however, a man who admired courage, resolve, and single-minded determination. The hawk embodied all those qualities. It had survived in this alien setting. Hell, it had flourished. So had he. Now, that, there's a wolf, an alpha wolf character right there. Right, with, with a hawk. <laughs> now, what's your next book coming out? This, was, this is December 2008. When's your next book coming out? My next book is coming out in July. I was um, asked and agreed to write the launch book for a big new Presents continuity series, which simply means that um, they, they've asked a select group of authors to set stories that are linked together um, with a common oh, background and some commonality of characters. So yours and is the first book in the series? Mine is the launch book, so that's a big thing. And, and it's called? It's called Billionaire Prince, Pregnant Mistress. Okay, the billionaire prince's pregnant mistress. No, nope. billionaire prince, prince, comma, comma, pregnant, pregnant mistress. Oh, so billionaire prince is the series? No, then? the series is the House of Carides, which is an island in the Mediterranean. Oh, so you had to go to the Mediterranean to do. Uh, I, could I do anything awful. else? It's terrible. Well, you know, you got it. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. There will also be. They asked me to do an online short story leading up to that at mm -hmm. E Harlequin, which will also. I think that's July, not June. Yeah, I'm. I, my and next now what, book is. What, I was just going to ask you. What about you? My next book is coming out in June, June oh. and it's the third book in the Mercy Hollings hypnotherapy series. And I just happen to have. Oh, do you have your if cover? If I could get a zoom, I got my cover art. Oh, it's if beautiful, I could get Tony. A little zoom on my cover art here. You can see we we're red this time, and we're once again feature, featuring the mysterious dark-haired woman on the cover, Mercy. Have we got that? Okay. It's a gorgeous cover. Yeah, I think it looks, I've liked all the covers in the series, and I know that covers can be kind of, kind of a crapshoot. Oh, know, they really can. I just complained out. about one of mine. <laughs> but I've been very pleased with the covers. Myself. Your cover, well, this first cover, and uh, I guess that's, that's the, second. the second cover. That's the second. the second. I don't have a poster of my first one And the one third yet. one is beautiful. Well, thank you very much. And thank you so much for being with us today. It's, it's been really an been absolute pleasure. pleasure. And thank you very much for tuning in to so many books. And if you or someone you know would like to be a guest on So Many Books, visit my website, that's www.tonyandrews.com, and click on the Contact Me link and send me some information about yourself and the books that you'd like to discuss, and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for coming today.